Hello, Grace Point. My name is Anthony Torlone, and I'm one of the elders here at, at the church, and, and I'm coming to you from my makeshift office. Um, nothing a couple nightstands and some leaves from our kitchen table can't create, and I can honestly say two months ago I couldn't fathom that this is where I would be spending most of my work day. But here we are. A lot has changed in the last couple of months, uh, and we're all trying to figure this out together. Um, I was on a walk several weeks ago, and, and God reminded me of something that was uh, true then, and I shared it with our life group, uh, and it's still true to today, and I, I'd like to share that with you uh, for a few moments. I was reminded on that walk of the story of the nation of Israel. You see, Israel was held captive in Egypt for, for several generations, for almost 400 years. Uh, and, and during that time, it's recorded that God heard their pleas and cries for help. And ultimately, God sent them Moses to rescue them. And the people of Israel saw God's fingerprints throughout that entire process of being set free. You see, it started with a, taking them out of Egypt and it ended with them being delivered into a land in which God had promised to them. A land that we see in Exodus 3 as being described as being filled and flowing with milk and honey. However, the process to get there from leaving Egypt required them to go through the desert. And throughout their time in the desert, God was with them. God provided them their food. God provided them their water. God provided them safety, even direction during the day and night. Yet despite God's orchestrating their rescue, the provisions that he gave, and a promise of a land to come, the nation of Israel is recorded as being said to have been grumbling against God. And they actually longed for the life that they knew back in captivity. You see, they longed for their routine. Despite what it was, and despite where it was, and how hard it was, they missed their routine. What they knew life was like day in and day out back in Egypt. And it's easy thousands of years later to criticize the nation of Israel for the discontentment despite all the provisions God gave them. But these last several weeks, I have to be honest with you, I find myself very much in their same shoes. You see, despite the fact that God has provided food and water and safety for myself and my family during this pandemic, I find myself longing for my old routine, my old desk, my old office. And I keep longing for the days of old. Like the nation of Israel, I find myself focusing on what I don't have versus what God continues to bless me with. May I encourage you to do what I did at that time and, and take stock in the blessings God has given to each one of us during this time. Perhaps you can find five minutes tonight and as a family sit around the table and jot down on a piece of paper all the blessings God has given to you these last two months. And as you finish that up, may I also suggest just taking a moment and together reading Psalm 46 and, and make note of God's control over our circumstances as seen in that scripture. It's a very big help for when my thoughts turn to the, and my thoughts and focus turn to that like the nation of Israel on the things that I'm missing right now, perhaps the words of uh, Psalms 46 can come to mind. Words like, the Lord Almighty is with me. Come and see what the Lord has done. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present ever help in trouble. I promise you that while our list of things that we're missing right now may seem lengthy, God's blessings is even longer. The things he has provided for us are incredible. And it's really up to each of us to decide where we choose our focus. We're praying for you, church. The staff, the elders, the leaders within Grace Point are praying for you during this time. If there's anything that we can do to help, please do not hesitate to call. We miss you and look forward to seeing you here real soon. Take care.